Niger, a country struck by a coup, had placed its hopes on an oil pipeline supported by China as a means of survival. However, complications arose disrupting this lifeline. Greetings everyone. Today we will be discussing the current situation in Niger regarding their aspirations for an oil pipeline supported by China. Unfortunately, internal security problems and a diplomatic conflict with Benin, which arose after a coup, have put these hopes in jeopardy. The pipeline, intended to enhance Niger's oil output and generate more revenue, is facing obstacles such as rebel group attacks and the closure of borders. This has had a significant economic impact, resulting in both countries experiencing a loss of income. The predicament sheds light on Niger's struggle to navigate the challenges that have emerged after the coup and maintain financial stability. Without further delay, let us begin our discussion. Niger's potential to become an oil exporting country through a China-backed pipeline is currently at risk due to an internal security crisis and a diplomatic conflict with neighboring Benin, both stemming from the aftermath of last year's coup that overthrew the democratic government of this West African nation. Spanning a distance of 1,930 kilometers or 1,200 miles, the pipeline connects Niger's Agadem oil field constructed by China to the port of Cotonou in Benin. Its purpose is to facilitate a substantial boost in Niger's oil production, as outlined in a $400 million agreement signed with China's state-owned National Petroleum Corporation in April. The progress of the pipeline project has encountered various obstacles, one of which is the recent closure caused by a diplomatic dispute with Benin. Additionally, the local rebel group known as the Patriotic Liberation Front launched an attack this week, claiming responsibility for disabling a section of the pipeline. They have issued threats of further attacks unless the $400 million agreement with China is terminated. Following the rise of Niger's junta, Salah Mahmoud, a former rebel leader, led a group that resorted to armed measures, exacerbating the country's existing security crisis and presenting additional threats to its stability. According to experts, the ongoing crises have the potential to exacerbate the already dire situation in Niger, a country known for its extreme poverty, as it heavily relies on external support that has now been withheld following the coup. With a local refining capacity of just 20,000 barrels per day, BPD, to meet domestic demands, Niger aims to export up to 90,000 barrels daily through the pipeline, a significant achievement that officials and analysts believe will boost the country's revenue and allow it to recover from the coup sanctions that had isolated it from neighboring countries and negatively impacted its economy and population. According to Ryan Cummings, director of Signal Risk, a consulting company specializing in Africa-focused security, the situation is incredibly chaotic and can only be resolved if both administrations actively engage and address the issues at hand. A significant worry revolves around the potential consequences of the halted pipeline operation on Niger's broader economic expansion. The World Bank had previously anticipated that the country's economy would experience a remarkable recovery, surpassing all other African nations with a growth rate of 6.9% this year, largely driven by the crucial contribution of oil exports. The origins of the diplomatic tensions with Benin can be traced back to July, when Niger experienced a coup that led to the removal of President Mohamed Bazoum. This event prompted neighboring West African countries to close their borders with Niger and gave rise to the local liberation group, which is now posing a greater threat to the oil project. Despite the reopening of its border with Niger, Benin finds itself in a predicament as Nigerian officials have chosen to keep their border closed. Their refusal stems from the belief that Benin is providing shelter to French troops, which they perceive as a danger to their country following the severance of military connections between Niger and France. Consequently, Benin's president, Patrice Talon, has made it clear that the resumption of oil exports through its port is contingent upon the reopening of the border. Economically, both nations are experiencing significant losses and Benin is additionally being denied millions of dollars in transit fees. 
The ongoing deadlock is exacerbating regional tensions following the coup, which occurred after a series of previous military seizures of power. This situation has pitted Niger against the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, an organization typically involved in mediating such disputes. As Niger leans towards Russia in its diplomatic realignment and Benin aligns itself with France and the West African bloc, China has taken the opportunity to intervene and seek a resolution to the deadlock, aiming to capitalize on its investment in the project. However, as tensions continued to escalate, Beijing's attempts to extract oil from the Agadem field and achieve a significant milestone in May ultimately crumbled. This week, Benin convicted and incarcerated three out of five Nigerian oil workers who were apprehended at the Beninized port after crossing the border. They were charged with the use of falsified computer data. These arrests led to the shutdown of the pipeline by Niger last week, as a senior government official claimed that their oil was being unlawfully taken by others. Cummings highlighted that Niger's military government is currently facing a significant worry regarding their ability to sustain funding for public services, given the financial strain caused by the coup. This includes challenges in meeting financial obligations like debt repayment and infrastructure funding. He emphasized the need for the junta in Niger to exercise greater caution when managing the country's financial situation amidst the ongoing crises. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.